Hi. Hey, hello there. Hi, boys and girls. Hi, kids. Hey, get here right now because it's time for the party with Big Gun and... Party! Now, boys and girls, it's time for the further adventures of Big John and Sparky. Today's chapter is entitled, Yuki Shows Us How. We stopped off in Florida for a few days' vacation before we went back to our home in Cincinnati, and there... Mayor Plumfront met his old flame, his old girlfriend, Daffodil Dilly. When he found out she had become even more rich than she was before, he began to pay a lot of attention to her. He was getting ready for a big date, but Sparky and I wanted to go down to the wharf to say goodbye to Captain Squinty and bring Yuki back with us. Come join us now as we're trying to get the mayor to say goodbye. Listen to the mayor, Big John, singing one of those disgusting love songs. Oh, now, Sparky, the mayor can't help it. He's in love. Love, fooey. Boy, we're supposed to get down to the Sailors and Seamen's Inn and meet Captain Swinney and Yuki. Now, what does the mayor do? He ups and makes the date to go sightseeing with the little Billy. Well, now, look, Sparky, that's not keeping us from going to the Sailor and Seamen's Inn to meet Captain Swinney and Yuki. Yeah, but the mayor's giving up all his old friends. Just, 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 just start calling our little Billy. No, he isn't. Now, will you stop grumbling or let's be on our way? Come on, let's go. Well, all right. Goodbye, Mayor. We're leaving. See you this evening, Mayor. So long. Hmm. Boy, he didn't even answer. Probably didn't hear us. After all, he is singing and taking a shower at the same time. Mayor! We're leaving! All right, Sparky, be quiet. Wake up everybody in the hotel. Why are you saying there? Did somebody say something to me? I said we're leaving to go down to meet Captain Squinty and Yuki. Oh, yeah, well, that's fine. Well, tell the boys I'm sorry I couldn't make it, but I have a date with the very charming and beautiful uh, Miss Daffodil Dilly. <laughs> so long, fellas. I'll see you later. i got to finish the shower here. <laughs> Disgusting, that's what it is. Just plain disgusting. All right, Sparky, come on, come on. It's enough of a grumbling. Open the door and let's be on our way. Okay, okay. Squinty's ship, the April Blossom, at anchor over there. Yes, and here we are, right in front of the sailors and the seamen's inn, right where we wanted to be. Come on, let's go on in and see if we can kind of find uh, Captain Squinty and Yuki. We don't have to go in. They must have seen us pull up in the car. Look, they're coming out. Oh, yeah. Hi, Captain Squinty. Hi, Yuki. Ah, fine. Howdy, fellas. Hey, where'd you get the automobile, Big John? Well, we're renting it. There's a rented automobile place next to the hotel where we're staying. Hello there, Captain Squinty. How's everything? Hi, matey. Where's Blubber? Oh, boy, Captain Squinty, guess what? The mayor met the widow Dilly, and he's out with her. What? The, the widow Dilly? You mean that old sculpin he met the last time we were down here in Florida? Yeah, and Big John says there's a chance that the mayor might get married. <laughs> well, if he does, <laughs> it'll serve him right. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. 
Come on, you and Yuki get in, Captain Squinty. We'll drive you back to the hotel. Yeah, fine. Hey, this is a stassy-looking car here. Always wanted a yellow automobile with a black roof like this. This is pride. I'm afraid I won't be able to go along with you, Big John. I signed the April Blossom up for a voyage to Peru. We heist anchor tonight at the change of the tide. Oh, yeah, well, that's too bad. I was hoping we'd be able to spend a little time together here in Florida. Well, matey, much as I'd like it, I'm afraid my crew wants to work. <laughs> yeah, well, we understand, Captain. Oh, well, say, by the way, what about Yuki's plane? Oh, that's already unloaded from the ship, but it's, it's, uh, it's out at the airport. Hey, then that means we can go home. Listen, I've got an idea. Let's kidnap the mayor and take him home with us before he can marry the, marry the widow Dilly. <laughs> Sparky, how could... How, we can't do a thing like that. <laughs> well, well, ladies, I've got to get back to my ship. Good luck to you, swabs. And try to keep that blubber from making an old fool of himself. Will you do that? Yeah, all right, Captain Squiddy. Well, we'll be seeing you again, I hope. Yeah. Bye, Captain Squinty. So long, Captain. So long. Hey, Big John, let's start back to Cincinnati today, can we? Well, I'll try to talk the mayor into it. Say, is this your hotel where you're staying at? Has it got a swimming pool? Yeah, Yuki, a real keen one. You want to go swimming? Yeah, fine. I'll teach you the Yuki Butcher flip-flop twist and turn dive. How about that? That's a wonderful idea. Come on, let's hurry back to the hotel and go for a little dip. For goodness sake, Yuki, will you get out of there? That's the children's part of the swimming pool. Yeah, is that right? I can even flop this water once it's very deep. <laughs> Doesn't even come up to my knees. <laughs> but, Yuki, there isn't a slide like this in the big pool. Well, if you don't mind, lad, I'd rather go swim where it's a little bit deeper. I'd like to get into some water at least two feet deep. Why? So the water covers up the hole with the day of the swimming suit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, well, let's go to the big pool, then. There's a very fine-looking diving board, Yuki. What do you say we do a little diving here? Yeah, fine. I used to be on the swimming team up at good old East Cat Tankerous High, Cat Tankerous Illinois, when I was just a young lad. Oh, good. I've heard that you're a very good diver and swimmer. I'm anxious to see you perform. Yeah, me too. Well, all right, get the side, fellas. I'll put on a little exhibition for you. <laughs> I'll just climb up on this here ladder. Now look, watch close, lad. You might learn something. I once tried out for the Olympic swimming team, you know. Boy, that diving board sure is high up. You mean dive from way up there? Ah, sure. Now watch, I'm going to show you the triple reverse barrel roll jack dive swan dive. Hey, that was some dive. How do you like that, fellas? That's real key, Yuki. Let's see another. All right. As soon as I climb back up the ladder, the diving board again. So, now, uh, next I'm going to show you my uh, backward flip with a frontward twist and turn. Hey, look, Sparky. Everybody noticed that last dive. Now they're gathering around here to watch Yuki dive again. Yeah. All right, fellas. Here we go! 
Hey, not me. Look at that one. Isn't that something? Look at him. Wonderful. You keep wonderful. Hey, listen. Everybody's clapping for Yuki. Hooray for Yuki. Hey. Look at all those pretty girls gathering around at the bottom of the diving board where Yuki will get out of the... <laughs> out of the pool. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Wow, wow. How do you do there, ladies? Fine. Oh, he's attracting attention, yeah, all right. Yeah, boy, look at that. Yuki's talking to girls. Hey, Yuki, come on, let's see another fancy dive. Now, uh, if you very beautiful young ladies will just step aside here, I will climb up on the diving board and I'll make another spectacular dive into the pool to show you how it's done here. <laughs> oh, I say, John, Yuki isn't even paying any attention to me. Shh, Yuki's going to make another dive. Now, uh, this time, girls, I'll do my special delayed action helicopter swan dive. Now, watch the delayed action here. This is a very unusual dive. All right, here we go. George, look at that. Look at that. Yuki seems to be floating real slowly down through the air toward the pool. Why, it's almost like a slow motion picture. Wow, Ray, what a dive. He, sh he still hasn't hit the water. What? There he goes. Hey, wasn't that a dive? Wow, I'm going to ask Yuki to teach me to dive like that. Come on, big John, go over and ask him. It is if we can make our way through that crowd of girls. Hey, Yuki. Hey, Yuki, how about teaching me to dive like... Hey, Yuki. Hey, you. How about teaching me to dive like that? I'm afraid we're not going to be able to get through this group of girls that have gathered around Yuki here. Why are all those old dumb girls acting so silly? Well, they aren't even girls. They're just a bunch of old ladies. I'll bet every one of them is almost 20 years old. Well, girl, allow me to take each and every one of you charming and beautiful young ladies up on the terrace for a nice glass of lemonade. What would you think of that? <laughs> hey, thank John. Now look at Yuki. He's walking off with those girls. Yes, yes, yes. Boy, he's disgusting as the mayor. Come on. Let's go home to Cincinnati without either one of them. Just you and me. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> This isn't a mess. First, the mayor meets the widow, Miss Daffodil Dilly, and gets romantic with her. And now Yuki puts on a fancy diving exhibition, and a bunch of girls gather around. And there he is, sitting up there on the terrace and drinking lemonade and talking and making those dumb eyes. Boy, I love stuff. And look at Big John. I think he wants to go up there and sit with Yuki and the girls. Come on, Big John. You never did like lemonade. Come on, let's go home to Cincinnati. I want to get back to Wobble Dings Woods so I can have a special meeting of our club. The first thing we're going to do is make a rule that no member of that club can ever, 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 ever fall in love. 